Hey there, fitness enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, Fitness Fusion. I'm Arnold, and today we're diving deep into the world of fitness to debunk some common myths that might be holding you back from reaching your goals. If you're tired of sifting through conflicting advice, you're in the right place. We take on six of the most common fitness misconceptions and beliefs. So let's get started. Myth number one, if you stretch before a workout, you will reduce the risk of injury. No matter how hard you try to stretch, it's not guaranteed that doing so will prevent injury. Actually, research studies suggest that stretching won't even help to improve your performance, and it has overall zero beneficial or prejudicial effects on working out or preventing injury. What has that power to actually prevent injury during your workout is a dynamic warm-up. In this exercise, you'll mimic the movements done while training, and this can help to loosen tendons and muscles, get the blood circulating, and activate the nervous system, preparing you to go. Myth number two, if you are not sweating, you are not working out hard enough. Sweating is the body's defense against heat. It is basically the system's way to cool down. But sweating does not mean we're working out properly, nor does the contrary mean we're not doing enough. We can sweat for a multitude of reasons, from being in a sauna, to eating spicy food, or being in the hot sun. And this doesn't mean we are losing weight or building muscle as we do. The same truth goes for top athletes and Olympic champions who can go through an entire workout sequence without losing a single drop of sweat. And they are working out properly, for sure. Summary. Sweating does not reflect calories being burnt or muscles being built. Myth number three. You can eat whatever you like if you work out hard enough. We wish. But the fact is that it's about 75% what you eat and 25% how you move. Exercising is paramount for a healthy lifestyle, but when the bottom line is weight loss or maintenance, there is no getting around the food we ingest. Research shows that fitness depends on the caloric intake and on the quality of those calories. You just cannot compare eating 500 calories in trans fat and sugar packed donuts with eating the same amount of calories in a mix of fruits, vegetables, and healthy carbs. 700 weight loss cases showed that the people who dieted without exercise were able to lose over 10 kilograms in 15 weeks, while those who exercised but did not diet lost under 3 kilos in 21 weeks. But healthy fats should be included in your diet as fat-free diets can reduce leptins and thyroid hormones that directly affect the body's fat-burning ability. Myth number four, you can reduce belly fat with crunches. Exercises can target and demand more from the muscles of specific areas, but overall, fat won't be collected from those areas directly. When you decide to do crunches, you'll be developing and toning your belly muscles, and that will eventually show, but overall, weight loss won't occur in that specific area. Your body is coded to hold on to fat in determined locations, and it might take more or less time to reach the goal of reducing belly fat, depending on the way you're designed. Myth number five, hot baths can prevent muscle soreness. Actually, cold baths can. During a workout, the body heats up and the blood vessels widen. This is what allows room for waste products like lactic acid to settle in the muscles. Contracting the vessels is done with cold rather than heat. Myth number six, lifting weights will make you look big. We often see women avoiding weight repetitions because of a fear of becoming too butch. Actually, when a total body workout focuses on three big muscle moves, your metabolism speeds up for the 39 hours following the exercise. So lifting can actually contribute to weight loss and toning more than simply building muscle. Also, men are more likely to bulk up due to them having 20 to 30 times more testosterone. And there you have it, six common fitness myths busted wide open. Remember, fitness is a journey, and it's crucial to base your approach on accurate information. Don't let these myths stand in your way any longer. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more evidence-based fitness advice. Thanks for joining me today. Stay smart, stay active, and I'll catch you in the next video. Keep breaking those myths and achieving your fitness goals. Until next time, take care.